കൊച്ചു കൂട്ടുകാർക്ക് കഥകളും കളികളും അറിവുകളുമായി കിഡ്സ് മലയാളം Aladdin always messed things up ever since he was a kid. He didn't have much luck with anything he ever did. Any bag he took would tear or fall out of his hand, and anything he tried to lift would drop onto the sand. Aladdin's father was a tailor, a master of his trade, and Aladdin would help his father sell the things he made. He ironed clothes and made deliveries all over town. He worked from early in the morning till the sun went down. One day his father sent him on an errand for the store. Aladdin hadn't ever been so far from home before. He walked for hours in the sun, and then he lost his way, and fainted to the ground because he'd walked and walked all day. When Aladdin woke up, it was almost like a dream, for facing him was the prettiest girl he'd ever seen. She gave him water. And as he slowly stood up on his feet, the lovely girl went off, and they did not have time to meet. Aladdin went back to his dad's store in the marketplace. The only thing he could think of was the girl's pretty face. When he told his friends about the girl, they said, "It cannot be. It seems you've met the king's daughter." The princess, she's lovely. Aladdin, you're a tailor's son. There's nothing you can do. You might as well forget about her. Find someone like you. But at the same time, in the castle, many miles away, the princess was thinking about the boy she'd met that day. She couldn't sleep. She missed him so. How would they ever meet? She was the daughter of a king, and he was from the streets. Aladdin couldn't think of anything but the princess. How beautiful her eyes were, and how lovely was her dress! But how could he, a simple boy, ever hope to win her heart? They came from different families. Their worlds so far apart. One day, when he was out in town, he heard some people say, "There was a secret cave beside the seashore, far away. Inside the cave were many riches, diamonds, jewels, and gold. They had been there for many years." Or so the story told, according to the legend, he who was strong, bold, and brave, would find the key to all his wishes, deep inside the cave. That's how I'll get my sweet princess. Aladdin suddenly knew. To win her heart, I swear that there is nothing I won't do. He took his bag and pet monkey, and early the next day, he said goodbye to his father and went out on his way. For three long days he walked. He didn't stop to eat or rest. He wanted so to find the cave, to get the treasure chest. When he saw the entrance, he bravely crawled inside, because he knew that with the treasure he would win his bride.
He crawled through the dark cave for hours till he reached a hall. The hall was wide and very long, its ceiling very tall. And everywhere he looked were golden coins, riches, and gems. He opened up his bag and began collecting them. When he was ready to walk out, his pockets full of gold, he found a little lamp that was dusty and old. He picked it up and gave it a little polish with his sleeve. And what happened next, Aladdin could not believe. The room was shaking. Everything was moving here and there. And sparks were coming from the lamp, smoke spreading everywhere. Aladdin watched the lamp as it grew hotter than a flame. And finally, out of its spout, a giant genie came. The genie said, Oh, thank you, boy. You freed me from the lamp. I've been in there for ages. It was lonely, cold, and damp. Now that I'm free, I'd like to pay you back for my release. I'll make your every wish come true. Ask anything you please. I am a lonely tailor's son, in love with a princess. Aladdin told the genie of her eyes, her smile, her dress. I don't want gold or riches. I want the princess as my wife, for she means more than any gem. I'll love her my whole life. The genie said some magic words, and presto, in a flash, Aladdin had a lovely cape, a hat, and clothes to match. Thank you again, Aladdin, said the genie. You've been great. And now you are a prince, so go get her. Don't let her wait. Aladdin rushed off to the castle as fast as he could run. He asked the princess to marry him. She said, you are the one. They had a giant wedding, and the kingdom was filled with joy. And nobody remembered he was just a common boy. Aladdin learned that it's important never to give in. And he who is determined and works hard will always win. ഇഷ്ടമായെങ്കിൽ ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാൻ മറക്കരുത് കൂടുതൽ വീഡിയോകൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കാൻ ബെല്ലൈക്കൺ ക്ലിക്ക് ചെയ്യുക